Hi, good morning friends. Today we will be seeing the installation procedure of Python in Windows platform. I will be f uh, carrying forward the installation procedure for 2.x series. The same procedure will be holding for both 3.x, 3.x means 3.4 and uh, 2.7 also. So let us say I would like to install Python 2.7. So I had already installed Python 2.7 here. I had downloaded that. So I need to do the installation. So it's a typical next next process, but there holds a small difference. So just give a next. So here comes the things actually. So whatever the things that we want that we could do individually here. By default, all the things will not be installed. Let us say I don't want this TCL TK right now. So I will not do that. So these things documentation I required. Okay. So, so this feature will be required installed when required. Let us say I want these things. So pip. So make sure that this thing would be installed for everyone. Why? Because pip will be assisting the installation of every other packages, additional packages. So let us say I want these things. So I am installing the things. So this last thing is very crucial and pip is also crucial. So this last thing does the path will be added to your system. System variables. So it would be environment path will be added. So initially if you see uh, here the process next if I do the next process next next. So the advantage of Python 2.7.10 and uh, the latest 3.4.10. 3.4 series is that people will be coming by inst uh, default here whereas in the previous versions we need to install the setup tools and the pip individually so this is the advantage you need not feel that sort of pain here see you could see the installation path here so in the previous versions we need to go and set the environment variable paths but here in this version we need not do even that also i am going to the so and so path advanced setting system settings in almost every of the windows let us say windows from windows uh, xp to windows 10 so everything would be same so i in specific i am working on windows 7 but the same things will be holding on everything so how to migrate to this path means go to windows give a right click and go to the properties so you will be coming to migrate coming to here and if you click the advanced settings you will be getting to here and here in under this system variables you should go for something called as path have is noticed something here that so once this installation was completed so you could see that these paths were added so python 2.7 why because we are working on python 2.7 right and python 2.7 scripts these two were added due to this uh, installation right now so this is an added advantage for this python 2.10 so now the installation was completed you know to check whether the installation was done correctly or not we can go for the windows you can type just type python i have seen that the python was installed here it's a python 2.7.10 was installed so after this python installation we had another one more task that installing the pip and additional packages so so with this 2.7.10 so pip was also installed and we can do the additional package installations directly using pip so instead of downloading all the packages individually and going to that, that uh, setup.py and installing individually so pip gives that is for us that pip we can install let us say the most popular thing like uh, ipython i want to install ipython i can do the job directly like this so i am saying that i am using windows systems and this is a command mode uh, installation procedure pip is one of the distribution so there are various such uh, python distributions python uh, like uh, anaconda so nthopy and other things are there so pip is the most popular thing and this is the direct way of downloading anything so uh, i have done the procedure like this first suppose you need to install something like uh, you want to install numpy you can do the same procedure as pip install 
numpy so that is fine so this is the same processor here all the things so in the same fashion if you want to do for python 3.x so the same processor holds but where you'll be having pip3 so when you are installing python so with that msa file dot msa file you will be seeing all the processors follow the same steps and you will be installing any in, including the python the additional packages also so with this the ipython was installed right now for me so that's it thank you friends